I try not to be scared of this stuff, but if something does happen, I'm gonna record it. But you gotta see it. Uh. Oh. oh, did you see that? Let me turn this light. Hello? Hello? Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, we are continuing our paranormal footage CCTV of ghosts, for lack of a better term, iceberg. This is part three. We are going over tier five, six, seven, and eight today. This is quite an extensive, long iceberg, but we do have one more part after this for the deepest tiers. I'm not going to do a lot of disclaimers because this is part three, and most of you have watched part one and two, but if you haven't, if you're new here, if you just stumbled on this video and clicked on it, this is part three. So if you're very confused, feel free to keep watching. But if you want to be less confused, you might want to watch part one and two, which I will link in the description below. If you want to just start with this video, sure, go ahead. Okay, let's get right into it. The first video in tier five is called Birthday Visitor. So in the iceberg that the original creator made, there are links to all of the videos that are referenced in the iceberg. A few of them were not working, so we're going to do the best we can with some of those. This one was not working. However, I'm pretty confident that I found the correct video. So let's watch the clip first and then talk about it. Yay! 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 Look at that, girl. Yeah. You gonna cut the cake up, Mama, or you want me to? Go ahead, I'm running the camera. Alrighty. Daddy's cutting the cake. Did you like the bicycle and stuff you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. Oh, oh god, god damn. No. It ain't gonna mess everything up. It's gonna mess this up for come everybody on. now. Come on, sissy. Come on, baby, come on. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, baby. Seems like it's missing know, everything in four seconds. It's okay. It'll be all right. God, okay. Yeah. We should have had this at Jerry's right. house. Okay. It might it's be just else, okay? this stuff is starting again. Right. I'm sorry, sweetie. You okay? Chris? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. What the hell is going on? Go to the front room. Go to the front room, girls. Go. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Miss, yeah. get up. Let's get out of here. Come on. So this one in particular was convincing for quite a few folks because the little girl's reaction in the video is so genuine and she does seem genuinely scared and surprised and confused. I definitely agree, but in my personal opinion, I think this video is fake. The mom's reaction for one seems like pretty bad acting. It seems like she knew that this was gonna happen and had kind of rehearsed some lines of what she was gonna say in her head and then I don't know exactly how they did it. However, if I were speculating and based on the comments of fellow skeptics that were speculating as well, there was probably somebody under the sink manipulating the drawers and the water or they had some weird house configuration where somebody could access that stuff from the other side of the wall. And then simply the upper cabinets could have been fishing line. There is someone in the YouTube's comments that is claiming to be this little girl's older brother, either the little girl or the other girl in the video whose birthday it was, somebody's older brother who lived in that house. It claims that all of this was true. All of this really happened. Assuming that he is who he says he is, that doesn't help me that much. That doesn't really convince me too much just because I feel like sometimes adults, as arguably cruel as it is, sometimes does this kind of stuff without telling the kids just to get a genuine reaction from the kids because kids are going to be, uh, it's going to be more difficult. Kids can be good actors, but they aren't always. And so it's going to be more difficult to get the kids genuine reaction. So they do this kind of stuff and pretend like the house is haunted without letting the kids in on the prank or hoax in order to get a genuine reaction. So if this is in fact the older brother that lived in that house, it's completely possible that all the adults in your life were messing with you and doing all this stuff without telling you. Do I agree with that? No, I don't think you should drag kids into hoaxes in a desperate attempt to go viral, especially without their knowledge. That seems really mean to me and that could be like legitimately traumatic for them because some kids are very, very, very scared of that kind of stuff. So it just seems kind of cruel to me, but that's what I personally think is going on. I also just don't think that if assuming ghosts were real, I just don't think that they 
the activity that a real ghost would do is this elaborate. I just, I've said this many times on the channel, but I just don't think that they're that crazy and over the top. I don't think they'd be banging stuff around to this degree. Before we continue, this video is kindly supported by a sponsor, so I am going to roll to the ad read, but I will be right back with you. This video is sponsored by Harry's. If you are someone who prefers to shave like I do, then the next time you are at your local retail store, go pick up some Harry's. Harry's is in all the stores now, like any retail store you go to, Harry's will probably be there. They're now in Walmart, they're in Target, they're in Costco, they're in drug stores, they're also in grocery stores. I was actually on my way to Target to restock my Harry's products, but I remembered that I had to pick up a prescription at Walgreens, and so I went to pick up my prescription, had to go there anyway, and and I just checked just to see, and sure enough, I didn't have to go to Target. I saved myself a trip because all the Harry's products I needed were in Walgreens too. I picked up one of their razor packs as well as their post shave balm and their shaving cream. The razor handle that I chose was the Truman handle. This is a two-toned handle with ergonomic no slip grip for the ultimate control. It's got a weighted core textured grip and therefore feels really good in your hands. My favorite part about this razor is that the head is flexible, <laughs> which I need so badly. So the razor moves with your body instead of the other way around. And then you have to try their post shave balm. Not only does it smell amazing, but it is designed to balance and soothe your skin after shaving. Highly recommend never skipping a post shave balm step. You guys, if you shave any part of your body, like make sure to do the post shave balm because your skin needs this after it's been shaved. Make sure to go check out Harry's at your next Target or Walgreens run and let me know what you guys pick up. The next one in tier five is Ghost Shadow on CTTV Camera. This is an alleged employee who is minding his own business, apparently going to the cafeteria at whatever IT company he works for and gets attacked by a shadow person. Here's the clip. This also just screams video editing, in my personal opinion. I personally think that they had somebody actually attack this, attack this person, that it was all set up and they had somebody drag this person around and throw them against the wall, et cetera, et cetera, and make sure that their shadow was in the video, but then they just in post editing took out the person and left their shadow. Tell me what you guys think though. This one does give me pause only because I don't know why you would like, he, this guy looks like he must have at least got at least a few bruises from this. Like that looked pretty painful and it does look like he actually got kind of attacked there. And so that does give me a little bit of pause because like, why would you 
be willing to do that for a video. However, there are these things called stunt performers, and we know people have done that kind of thing in the past, specifically for a viral video. They like hired an amateur stunt performer who was just trying to get some experience, and so they didn't have to pay him that much, and they're willing to do this kind of stuff. If you are new here, welcome. I am very skeptical about ghosts. I don't necessarily rule them out completely, but I am, the point of these kind of videos is I'm looking for real footage. I'm looking for actual footage that convinces me that maybe it is evidence of something paranormal. And most of my job is to pick apart videos like this and explain to you why they are probably staged. It's my favorite thing to do. Ghost sighting at window is next. This is a clip of some college-aged looking people and they are throwing a ball around just like goofing around in the courtyard of what looks like a university. And they're just kind of goofing around and filming and they suddenly stop when they see something very strange up in the window. Oh yeah? Come on, to me, not, not no one else. To me, to you. <laughs> to me? <laughs> Oi, what is that? What was that? Can you see that there? Oh my gosh, that was creepy. Wait, what was that? I think we should go up there and have a look. <laughs> hey, what we seen him? He was up there? I've got it on film. This room's locked, guys. He's been locked for two years. No, but I need to see something. 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 I've got it on camera. The room's been empty. There's a boy's face in the corner of the window. Show me now. There's not even a ladder. More of these damn ghosts peeking around the corner at you again. The description explains that the person filming, the girl that was filming this video, said that the manager took them upstairs because they saw something and the door to that room is typically locked and that room is never in use. So the manager took them up to unlock the door and take them into the room to investigate. I had really high hopes for this one before I started watching it, not gonna lie. I really hoped that this was going to be something where they were just like goofing around and filming and then they didn't see anything until after the fact till they were looking through the video, but I was disappointed and I'm pretty suspicious of this video as well. First of all, the guy with the ball, like who sees the figure is just like playing ball all the way down in the courtyard and then conveniently looks up and sees this tiny face in a window all the way across the courtyard and up several stories while being filmed in that exact moment. It just seems weird. Like when you're with your friends and you're hanging out and you're throwing a ball around or just even if you were just like having a picnic or whatever, like not that many people are studying the windows like five stories up. And then to me, the ghost really looks like just a person to me. It looks like just a person sulking around the corner of the window being filmed on a 2010 camera phone. I just think there's no way that we don't know that they just had another friend with them that did this. And we only have their word for it that the door was locked and that the room is not in use. Like, we have no proof that that's actually the case. We have just their word for it. So I just don't see why this wouldn't be just a person looking out the window that they set up because they turned the camera on conveniently a few seconds before they saw it. Japanese Ghost Boy is next. This is the first one that I couldn't find. I recruited my patrons to help me with this one because sometimes my um, patrons, my patrons are just amazing in general, shout out to them. But on the Discord, I will sometimes give them homework if they have the time and energy to help me. And if they wanna help me, I will sometimes give them some task to see See if they can hunt this stuff down for me because sometimes you need fresh eyes on stuff. 
In the end, couldn't find this one. It's too vague of a title and their link is broken. It linked to like a image that was linked in a discord server that has since been deleted so we just have no idea exactly what this one is if anybody knows please feel free to email me my email is always in the description box and i do check that email a lot so if anybody can figure out what that one is or any of the ones that were missing in these tiers feel free to tell me so we got to move right along shadowy ghost in school is the one after that shout out to my patron eli this was another one that i needed help with and eli found this one for me i could not track this one down and eli came through. So thank you so much. Now, unfortunately, the original clip doesn't work, but we did find a clip in a compilation video, but it's like from an AI run uh, YouTube content farm channel. You know, those where the narrator is just an AI voice and it's clearly a content farm overseas just making tons and tons of these compilation videos without putting any effort into it. that's a whole other story that's kind of annoying but here's the clip anyway how do we ghost in school a group of young teens decided to go explore an abandoned school in their town the building is ridden with gravity and it's apparent no one has been in it for at least several years as the group enters a classroom of the school the camera catches a very realistic shadowy figure sitting on bench Something about the way the figure walks looks very casual, as if it's wearing jeans, and has one hand in its pocket. The group of teens seem to notice or see the figure, but just as the camera catches it better, a loud roaring noise can be heard. The noise is comparable to a deep echoing moan, or ship alerts. The teens begin to scream, and run out of the school, as they run, and even after coming to a stop, to talk about what happened, they can still hear the eerie noise. They continue to explore, as if looking for the source of the terrifying noise, but the video ends and we are left with more questions than anything. I will admit this one is creepy. I don't like this one. This one does creep me out quite a bit. But again, we don't have any other context. So it's really hard to say one way or the other. This could easily be somebody in a mask or this could be some weird editing trick or it's just somebody in a mask and dark clothing and just like hunched in the corner staring over at the camera. It's just so hard to know. I will give props to this video. This video is very creepy though. I will give you that. Okay, next is the rake in sewers. And as you could see on the iceberg, this one is in red. So that means if it's in red, it has been officially debunked. This one is actually really great. So we're going to just watch this one first and then I will come back and explain it. Now we know that this one is fake because this was actually confirmed to be an April Fool's Day prank by the company United Utilities. They are based in England. They posted this on April 1st, 2011. Here is the full video that's even clearer footage as well as more context for the video.
So this was actually part of a campaign, a what not to flush campaign. And it was just kind of a joke. Like when people flush stuff that shouldn't be flushed, people are flushing stuff other than toilet paper and human waste. And uh, when you flush all those stuff in the sewers, eventually a swamp monster kind of thing is going to be created. But people, of course, took just this clip out because it kind of looks like the rake creature. They lowered the quality and spread it around as they do as a viral paranormal video. After the campaign launched, apparently the company United Utilities received upwards of 60 phone calls from concerned residents that saw this clip and thought that there was a swamp monster in the sewers. <laughs> okay, next is WTF. This is actually, we're going to TikTok. This is a TikTok and this was the first video posted on this person's channel. Hello? Hello? Mm. Keep hearing weird noises in the basement, Steve. So I just want to. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No fucking way. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. See, bro? There's nothing on this fucking door. Hello? Yep, fuck that, I'm not going down there. I will admit this video is also pretty good. I do appreciate that he shows us the doorknob to prove that there's no fishing line on it. However, my faith in this authentic video stops there because if you go to this person's TikTok account, their entire account is devoted to trying to convince you that they live in a haunted house. And his reactions are super over the top. His strange reactions in other videos, it literally sounds like he's being electrocuted. Like, I can't help but think of Phil in that episode of Modern Family when he gets tasered at Thanksgiving trying to trade the baseball card. Mint condition. Uh, mint condition. Uh, fair condition. Garbage. Like, he seriously sounds like that. Watch this part of his other video. God, you gotta come out. Oh my God. Come on. What the fuck? Oh, shit. And then a lot of people in the comments, and I agree with them, are pointing out that in this video, the entity behind the water heater or whatever that utility thing is down in his basement sure looks like a person in sweatpants and socks. And I have to agree. I mean, I just think, as you guys know, I think the vast majority of paranormal TikTok is completely staged and set up. Okay, that was tier five. Moving on to tier six. Apparition dematerializing on CCTV in Kentucky. So interestingly, I don't think this one is fake. I don't think that it's a ghost, but I don't think that it's set up, if that makes sense. I'm drinking coffee. I'm just testing. See, if you were a liar, you might say you were in your Then it just disappears. I honestly think that this one is just a glitch in the security camera. I have seen this kind of thing on security cameras, again, in like ghost footage stuff before, and it looks very similar to that. Like, it's just a weird glitch in low quality security cameras where it can't pick up the contrast very well, and it looks like the person just disappears into thin air. I don't know. I'm open to other suggestions, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. DHS craft captures. This is allegedly footage from somebody, an ex-employee of DHS. And if you don't know what that is, it's literally the Department of Homeland Security. And allegedly, this is an employee who got this footage and then leaked it after they didn't work there anymore. So this video is almost seven minutes. I'm going to cut it down to a couple minutes because nobody has time for that and it's really 
unnecessarily seven minutes. Like the uh, a lot of it can be cut out. If you want to watch it, it's really easy to find on YouTube if you do have interest in watching the whole thing, but I'm going to try to cut it down a little bit. So here's the video. So I don't, I really don't know what to think. The problem again is that the footage is so grainy. And I mean, like, couldn't this, couldn't this like realistically be a drone? If it's not a drone, like I could even see it being some sort of bird. And just to be very clear, it's not that I don't believe in aliens. Like I'm not so naive to think that the universe is not so ridiculously huge and vast that we're the only life in the universe. That makes no sense. I 1000% believe that there is other life on other planets and that is technically what aliens would be, right? It's just that I have a really hard time believing that they would bother coming to the US and it always seems to be Southern states in the US. The description of this video says, a friend of mine who runs a great UFO channel on Instagram and YouTube named NY underscore UAP underscore discussion posted up a few videos over the last couple weeks stating that these videos came from a DHS employee. So that's also like, we're getting that this is from a DHS employee and that these are UFOs through several different channels. I get it. Like if you were a whistleblower for DHS or you were leaking classified documents for Department of Homeland Security, I can understand why you would want to stay anonymous. But the problem with that is that we have literally zero verification that this is actually footage that was taken from a DHS employee. So that's problem numero uno. The second problem is that if this really was leaked footage from the Department of Homeland Security, don't you think that the government would have come after this footage being posted to YouTube by now and had YouTube taken it down and tracked down who took it? Like, I just have a feeling that if this was authentic government UFO footage that somebody had to leak that the government didn't want us to see because if they wanted us to see it, it wouldn't be leaked. 
I just have a hard time believing that they wouldn't have had this video taken down. I think the reason that the government doesn't care that this video is out there is because it's a drone or there's some other explanation, so they're not concerned. Benomino Paranormal Benai. I believe this roughly translates to blessed paranormal phenomenon as this video is from Trinidad. This video has less than a thousand views and honestly, I don't really get why it's on here, but I did not make this iceberg. It's just not that obscure or creepy to me, but I don't know. It's like 30 seconds. Here's the clip. This is very obviously string to me as the objects are being moved all in the same direction to the direction in which you can't see the full frame of the camera like they're moving in the direction where uh, somebody could be hiding. The chair is even wobbly like it's moving in a way that looks like a string <laughs> is attached to it and trying to slowly drag it. So I just think this one's really, really obvious that it's fake. Ghost CCTV in office. Okay, this next one is hilarious. Just here, I'm just gonna show you the clip first. This, this, this seriously, again, very poorly faked. It looks like a 3D model rendering that somebody made in Blender. Like, are you kidding me? This one's really, really bad. It looks animated. It looks like they added a bunch of shadows to try to trick you into thinking it's not animated. Also, another very telltale sign is when a video says that there's CCTV footage or that it's CCTV cameras that were installed but the video is taken from a straight angle as if somebody put the camera on a desk or something like that. CCTV, if you haven't noticed, is always shot from up above. La Llorona. This is exactly what the title implies. This is an alleged run-in with La Llorona herself. La Llorona, if you don't know, is a very, very popular and famous urban legend that actually originates from Latin America and is a vengeful female ghost. The uploader of this video, however, claims that this was actually taken in Saudi Arabia. Here's the clip. This one's pretty creepy. Look 
So again, props for creepiness factor, props for the people in the car freaking out factor. A lot of people were asking why they didn't just run it over, why they were reversing instead of just running her over, which is like, I'm so glad they didn't. Like, what if it was just a person that was freaking people out or playing a prank, which it very well could be. But like, uh, okay, they didn't know that it was a ghost. Like, what if it was a person and they just ran her over? Like, not only would that be terrible, but they would go to prison. Anyway, whatever it is, honestly, I could see this just being a woman who is hunched over quite a bit and walking all creepy and again has a wig on. It really doesn't look like a ghost, whatever it is, but hey, I've never seen a ghost in real life, so what do I know? Mellow Bird's paranormal activity caught on camera. I'm actually not going to spend too much time on this one because we've talked about this account several times, I believe on this channel, but also just in this iceberg. He was the one that posted the uh, Ouija board gone wrong on Halloween video and also that very, very famous video of the activity in his kitchen and how his entire kitchen just like blows up with some sort of poltergeist activity. And we've talked about why I think this whole guy's account is fake. I think that Ouija board video I think was a magic trick. You can go back and watch my other explanation on it. So here's the clip that we're talking about right now in this, like the one in this iceberg. Tuesday the 14th of December. Do something else. Just don't break something else. Was that you? Oh. <laughs> Who else was it? Um, just do something else. That one's empty. break a fool when I get you exercised. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded because I've seen so many clips exactly like this, or I just think that this guy is completely fake. And it really bugs me because in his descriptions and stuff, I get really, really irritated with creators that get defensive over their paranormal footage being real. And in this one, he's like, no, I haven't called ghost hunters. No, you can't come over to my house and investigate, blah, 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 blah. And he acts all indignant about it as if it's because, you know, he like respects his own privacy and stuff. But you know that it's because it's fake and that if anybody actually went over there or if ghost adventures went over there, there would be absolutely nothing. 
to research or look at. And it just bugs me that there's just so much gaslighting involved when creators do this, when they're like, you guys, if you don't believe me, then whatever. But this is real. Why would I fake this? And like, this is 1000% real. Like, like, it's so gaslighty because we know that it's fake. Like 100%. I guarantee you this, all of this guy's account is all set up. And so knowing that, it just rubs me the wrong way when they get all like rude about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm sensey, but okay. New York City UFO. This one's a little different. I do really appreciate this one because it's actually taken in broad daylight for once. And it's also in New York, not Arizona or Nevada, like all UFO footage seems to come from. Again, this video is like eight minutes long. I'm going to condense it because it doesn't need to be eight minutes for you to understand what's going on. But I just want to let you know when I condense the videos or cut out just so that you know that some of it is cut out. Like, I don't want to, I want to be super transparent that like you could go watch the whole video yourself if you think for some reason there's context missing. Anyway, okay, here's, here's part of the clip. Okay, so I'm not the only one, right, that was thinking immediately that this looks like balloons. This literally looks like helium filled balloons, but they were tied together. Like a lot of balloons are tied in a bunch from a birthday party. And there was three, but you could see like five eventually in the video that are tied all together and that's why they're floating around like that and then as they float around more the string gets looser and so they're moving i am so confused about this video the reason i'm confused is because this clip made the news let me show you a clip of that sighting that had even jaded new yorkers scratching their heads a mysterious silver shiny object or objects it seems floating in the sky yesterday you can see all the people that stopped in the street there in their tracks looking at it some folks say they saw lights others were maybe waiting for little green men to arrive i don't know <laughs> um, you, you don't say i'm it. looking for the mothership <laughs> <laughs> law enforcement officials believe it was some kind of balloon so far though no confirmation and as they said on the x-files the truth is out there it's just very odd to me that this, if it was so obviously balloons, everybody in New York at that area that could see it were like gathering, literally gathering in a crowd on a street. And if you don't know, New York, you know, moves pretty quick. Like people are trying to get places all the time in New York and everybody just stopped 
They're taking photos, they're taking videos, they're stopping, they're staring, they're pointing, they're counting, they're talking about it. Some people in the comments claim, again, we have no verification of this, but they claim that they were there that day and saw what these people saw and claimed that it did look like light kind of things or like a shape-shifting thing that it did not look like balloons whatsoever. And again, that's what gives me pause because I've seen balloons floating up in the air before, like we all have, right? Like they escaped off their string from a birthday party or what have you, and they're floating in the air, but nobody bats an eye. They just kind of look up and they're like, oh, balloons got away and they move on with their day. So the reason this gives me pause is like, how did everybody not recognize that they were just balloons if they were just balloons? And how did this make it on the news? So I don't know. I still think it's balloons and that this was some sort of like, maybe this was some sort of mass delusion or something in that moment. Maybe you had to be there. It's so confusing because I'm like... <laughs> How do these people not see it's balloons? But on the other hand, I wasn't there and a bunch of people are claiming that it didn't look like balloons. Okay, next is Nickoid's ghost footage. I'm kind of obsessed with this next one. This one was uploaded on YouTube by this channel 17 years ago, like right when YouTube started pretty much. He only has 18 videos total on the channel. He has not posted in 12 years and this is the only paranormal video on his channel. Not a whole lot happens in the video, but it's for those reasons that I love this video. So here it is. This one for sure was not set up or edited because this is so clearly somebody that was actually going out just to film some bats and that was looking over his footage and thought, oh, that's kind of cool. He's not trying to tell us that it was definitely a ghost or that he saw a ghost. He's just asking people like what they think of it and everything. It could be the pareidolia effect. It could just be light through the trees or something like that. Like we don't know, but it does kind of look like a face, which is really creepy. And I just, I love this video. I know it's so simple. I know it's boring, like not that much happens, but I just love the genuineness of this video. And I wish all YouTube and TikTok videos 
of paranormal stuff were like this. I wish it was all just like very simple. This is what I saw. What do you guys think? Not oh my god, I'm haunted, all of my books are flying off the shelves kind of thing. You know what I mean? I just, there's just something so wholesome about this video. He literally just wanted other people to analyze it with him. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, the next two go together, The Haunting 1 and The Haunting 2. However, the series, oh, I'm sorry, not The Haunting 2, The Haunting 35.1. They are also read on this iceberg, meaning they have been pretty thoroughly debunked. The Haunting was actually an entire series by a YouTube account called Mark Absalone. I think that's how you say his last name. And this first one was posted in October 2009. Let's watch this clip together. Um, I think you'll be able to tell that it's fake on your own. And just a warning, there's like kind of jump scares in these next two videos. Like not like super jump scares, but very much like little girl from the ring kind of sightings and stuff. I think my house is haunted. I just moved. Uh, a lot of weird things been going on here in the basement region where I've got the studio area. I get down here, it kind of freaks me out coming down here at night. Get this light on. There we go. There you go. There's a studio. I've got to do some more still work to it, but because I've moved, it's kind of crazy boxes everywhere, stuff like that. But a lot of other things have been happening down here. Uh, I'm going to see if I'm going to record it. If I'm going to record it, I'm going to go after it. I try not to be scared of this stuff, but if something does happen, I'm going to record it. But you guys see it. Uh, Oh, did you see that? Let me turn this light. Hello? 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 Is anybody in here? Hello? Is anybody in here? No one's trying to fool me. You're gonna run out of here, are they? Okay, so this video has 55 million views on it and all the videos in his series, some of them have almost that much, but almost all the videos in the series have millions of views. Okay, so now let's watch The Haunting 35.1. And like I said, there's also kind of some visual jump scares in this one with the little ring girl. Mm, the doll freaked me out the other day. <sighs> but I've been doing more and I know some of you guys don't understand that uh, Nagash is the uh, underworld god, okay? Um, he is, uh, he's actually mentioned in some of the Gilgamesh tales too. Gilgamesh meets uh, him in the underworld and uh, it says he's the guardian over all demons. 
that live in the underworld. That's some creepy stuff. I've been doing even more research, trying to find an area where this this cult following would have done their, you know, cult worshiping stuff. And I think I know the area. And uh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to record and see what happens. Because if you don't know what video I'm talking about, I'll put a link right down here so you can see it. But... What the crap was that? Whoa! What the hell? Did you hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> So that's got to be his daughter or something, right? That's got to be his daughter or a young woman of some sort that is just dressing up in a white gown and brushing their dark hair over their face. But the jumps, the edits, the spooky music in the first one, and I'm so sorry if it got copyrighted and it had to take the sound out of the first one. I hope I didn't have to, but it's obviously somebody making a movie type series. And if you pause on the girl, if you pause the video on the girl, you can see that it is very, very clearly just a person. Shout out to one of the best comments I've ever read on one of the other <laughs> videos of this series. I'm not going to tell you which one because I don't want anybody to comment on his comic because he left it many years ago. I really don't understand how everyone writes this off as fake. And yet no one has explained how he has made those two little ghost girls appear. Like... <laughs> God bless, right? <laughs> Underwater Lights is the last one on tier six. And oh my God, this is not like any other video on this iceberg. This one is a true story. You could verify it right from the news. And this one really legitimately freaks me out. This is footage from the North Pole. Russian divers are attempting to set a world record by diving here. The renowned diver Andrei Roshkov goes in first. He's one of the world's finest and most experienced divers in this type of environment. The dive is being filmed for a Guinness Book of World Records show. The water temperature here is actually below zero. A cameraman follows Roshkov into the black Arctic abyss. Both divers are attached to the surface by a rope. Assistants hold on to the other end. In case of danger or exhaustion, the diver is supposed to tug so they can drag him out. Suddenly, the cameraman appears at the surface. But where's Andre? Something has gone wrong. And why did the cameraman leave him under the water? The worried assistants try to drag their friend out. Roshkov is an experienced diver. He's a rescue ranger. What could have possibly happened to him? Tragically, when they drag him out from under the ice, he's already dead. Attempts at resuscitation proved futile. And despite an autopsy and a full investigation, we still don't really know what ended this diver's life and this world record attempt. Watching the shots afterwards, the assistants notice strange underwater lights, perhaps from a submarine. The unexpected beams of light might have frightened or somehow disoriented the master diver and could have contributed to his untimely death. Okay, so like I said, there's news articles about this diver and his death. Apparently, according to an autopsy, I read that he, they found that he suffered a heart attack and I believe in embolism as well. I think they're, you know, diving. I don't know all the science and mechanics behind diving, but I know that ascending quickly or descending quickly can do like some messed up stuff. And I think he, if you do it wrong, you can suffer an embolism. But of course, the freakiest part about this video was that nobody confirmed what the lights are. Like, was it a submarine that like they said in the video disoriented him so much or caught him so off guard? He was so surprised to see lights down there that he like suffered a heart attack out of pure shock. The other speculation is that this was a nuclear submarine that somehow like radiation from it or something like killed him? Or did like sonar 
kill him. Apparently, it is possible for some sonar to kill a person. For example, just look up the sperm whale and you'll be horrified. The sonar of a sperm whale can apparently vibrate a person to death. Now, this seems pretty unlikely because as far as I understand, sonar from a submarine has never killed a person. But like, nope. So this is like kind of paranormal, but kind of not, right? Because I think because it's so mysterious, a lot of people wonder if this was sort of like paranormal experience he had underwater where something had lights that somehow killed him or something paranormal killed him down there. I don't personally think that. I think it has to be some sort of scientific explanation, but what the hell? And it's just so bizarre that the camera person that was with him didn't see anything this clip will haunt me. I blurred out the actual guy, but like in the original clip, they pull him out. Like you can see him being pulled out and he's already unconscious. And it, it's just so freaky. This one is so weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, tier seven is next. And the first one on tier seven is alien in the basement. This one is also very, very strange and I don't understand it at all. And I need an explanation. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that this is unlike anything you've ever seen. So here is this clip clip. Okay. So what the hell, like there has to be some sort of explanation for this, right? Somebody suggested in the comments that it was like a really, really, really extra matted up animal. It doesn't look like that to me. I think we would be able to see some sort of feet or head or something like that. Somebody else suggested that it was like a bird's nest or some sort of nest that was flipped upside down and that there was some small creature underneath it that was moving the nest. Please give me ideas in the comments of what you guys think this is. Surely it's not an alien egg. Like surely that is not it. But this one I will admit is very weird and I don't like it and I want an explanation. Maybe somebody just like made some weird funky thing and then they put like one of their pet rodents in underneath to make it move just to make a viral video or something. I don't know. I don't know. That one's weird. Excuse my pronunciation on this next one. Balambi Heights Aliens. And I will also admit that this one had me for a minute, but just for a minute. This clip, if you saw this clip and nothing else, it would be pretty convincing. So here it is. Just lying in bed. I like hear noises at the back here. Fuck, good shame. Definitely hear something out here. It's fucking walking up, and, like, moving around. The... Holy fuck! What is it? It's right there. Yeah. It was there just after the grass. Oh. Oh, come on, focus. Yeah, I can't see anything. Focus, focus. Oh. I don't know. It just it dumped. It was here. It was standing here. I, I came out, turned around, and dumped in the grass. Yeah, fuck this. I heard the noises out there, um, like rustling as it walked up the hill. I'll, sh I'll show you tomorrow, and I'll do a morning after. And it walked, there's a hill out there, right? And um, he, he, the house is here, and then there's like a few meters of dirt, and there's a hill. It was standing on the top of the hill. I walked out there, and I turned around, and it... Um, it like it, it turned and it just jumped and it would have jumped I don't know four or five meters that like house like that way into the grass because there's thick grass down there. It was not expecting me to come out for sure because I just I walked out there and it looked it like just went turned around fucking jumped. Um and my mum she yeah she she was just she was just I don't know in the in the hallway or something like that and she heard me open the door run out there she followed me. That's crazy. If I, 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 I saw the whole fucking body, the whole body, like everything, like just fucking, like head to, like, well not head to toe, like head to, I don't know, like ankle, a, ankle, like every, just everything, it was fucked, the whole thing. I just watched the footage of, on the night vision, and it's fucked, it's all blurry and fucking, I wouldn't fire. Oh,
So this one did almost have me. I will admit that I did find it a little strange that this thing, this glowing thing in the video looked a little bit like the alien from that X-Files episode of The Simpsons. Uh, I bring you love. It's bringing love. Don't let it get away. Break its legs. But it is just a strange video in general because you can't really tell what it is, right? Like it does look like something unhuman from the distance that this guy caught on video. But then, as per usual, going to his full account ruins the entire thing. There are other sightings that he gets of these aliens where he gets just the best footage of all time. Yeah, there it is. Whoa, there it is. Shit. And these aliens look straight out of a sci-fi movie. Like they are the most cliche looking aliens of all time. This is a dude in a costume, 100%. These are so ridiculously fake. And if you don't believe me, just remember that if this were a real video, if somebody had this great of footage of aliens, it would be on the news. The government would be interested. Okay, paranormal activity at barbershop is the next clip. This is just a classic. Oh no, it's a ghost. Just watch this clip first and then we'll talk about it. So I will admit, I cannot prove that this one is fake, but I will say I have quite a few questions. Again, if this is a security camera, why isn't it at a downward angle? Why is it angled as if somebody put a camera on a desk? It is the perfect angle of the whole shop and not from an downward angle like a CCTV camera would be. Secondly, why is the barber in this video not doing anything? Why isn't he actually cutting or styling this woman's hair. Like he's literally just like walking around her and flicking it every now and then. Like why is it why is he actually doing his job? Third, I find it 
very, very suspicious that these two men are like grinning and smirking at each other at the end after the activity while their other buddy is freaking out. They just look very knowingly at each other and they just look like they know that this is set up. Maybe the third guy didn't know that this was going to happen and they set it up just to prank him and they thought it was funny or something. Anyway, I will also admit that I'm not exactly sure, even though I think it's set up, I don't know how they did this. The uh, cape, the blue cape, barber cape thing could be explained by a string, like maybe somebody is behind the door or the doorway of the door behind it. And they have, maybe they're standing on a ladder or something like that. So the they could kind of pull the string upwards and then away very slowly. The doll head though is really hard to explain. I'm not sure how they did that. That was very clever. The fan obviously can be, the string of the fan could just be moving because the fan is on a very high speed. Fans do that all the time, ceiling fans. And then yeah, maybe there's another room behind that wall and they drilled a hole or something in the wall. And again, there's somebody else on a ladder up behind that doll head and they have a string attached to the doll head. So he's moving it from behind the wall. That's the only thing that I can think of. But yeah, I don't know how they did that part, but very clever. I just, again, I can't prove it's not real. I just, I just have so many questions and this video just seems suspicious. Another apology for my mispronunciation on this one, as I believe it's Hindu, Penampakin Kutalanak Turbang. So this is a very brief clip. Pay attention to the left side of this man, our left, his right, and very behind him in the distance. So again, this one's just kind of boring to me because like it is very creepy, yes, but how do we know that that's not just a person walking to their car in the background? And then I also just find it weird that like, why is he just randomly filming him and his kid walking in a parking lot or wherever they are, and then this happens to go by them at that exact moment. The translation of the title translates roughly in English to flying, Kuntalanic spirit, and a Kuntalanic is a female spirit originating from Hindu mythology. That's my understanding of it, and she's often depicted as a woman in white with long black hair, sometimes flying. Okay, Poltergeist at work is next. This one is a little bit longer as well, and I'm actually not going to cut too much out of this one. I might cut a little bit, but I don't want to cut too much out of this one because I actually find this one very, very interesting. And and I want to analyze this one a little deeper with you guys. So here is that clip first.
This one is somebody who claims that they work nights at a hotel, which honestly kind of dream job. Like that sounds so fun to me. I love hotels though. You guys know that. I've talked about that. Anyway, he explains that he has two videos like this and I will show you the other video as well. And again, he has that one of those channels where all the other videos have nothing to do with this. He just has two videos of this alleged paranormal activity. And he says that this kind of stuff at the hotel happens quite a bit. And that is the reason that he's filming because he wanted to see if he could catch some of it on camera. So not gonna lie, my little ghosty, spooky heart really wants to believe this one. And I will tell you why. My cynical side says that it's probably fake too, but I do, I really like these videos. This was posted in 2012, over 10 years ago. And for this first video, if he is using fishing line, he did a great job. I don't know how he did this because the chair doesn't just go in one direction, which is a huge red flag in most videos. The chair goes back and forth. How did he do that if this is fake? I don't know, but wow. And because this was posted all the way back in 2012, I mean, I'm sure green screen suits existed, but I don't think they were really a thing. Like nowadays you could just buy a green screen suit off of Amazon for like 20 or 30 bucks. We've talked about this many times and you could do something like this and then edit it out of the video. But Amazon wasn't that prevalent back then. I don't think a lot of people just like could randomly buy this stuff and have it at their door in two minutes or even be that clever. So I don't think that's what this is either. And then there's this other video that he took. Like I said, there's only two videos on his entire channel that shows activity from this hotel. So I'm going to show you again most of that clip as well. This is the dark cupboard. Right. Stick it back up there.
I was really nervous that this chair again was just gonna fall over in this video and then that would have been it because I would have been like okay well obviously there's somebody underneath the um, the table conveniently has a giant tablecloth all the way down to the ground on it so somebody could easily be hiding under the tablecloth but to my delight and surprise it has nothing to do with anything that could be connected to that table. It is the closet in the back. I love that he does not cut out the video one time. He does not stop filming. He shows you walking up to the camera, picking it up, and then bringing it right over to the closet to show you that there's nobody in the closet. So the other thing that it could be, maybe there's somebody on the right side of the frame behind like the walls and the table so we can't see them in frame with a fishing line that's pulling the closet open. But that can't be it either because he very clearly shows us him closing and he like wiggles the doorknob a little and latches it to show us that it's completely latched. So it's very unlikely that that's the case. Is that a little suspicious that he like makes sure to show us that the door is latched? You could see it as suspicious, but I could also see it as him because the place is, if it was actually haunted, he's also doing that to show us that this thing is unlatching doors. I could see that going either way. The other possibility is that maybe there is a secret compartment in the closet, like maybe because the closet is pretty dark so we couldn't see, but maybe there is like a trap door or something behind the closet. And if there was somebody in the closet, they were running back in there and hiding. That would be also pretty impressive if that were the case. But I do, my skeptical side wants to explain all angles. But I don't know. It kind of checks all the boxes. Like he has the reason to be filming. He says this happens a lot and he just got the camera out to try to catch some activity for, you know, his own documentation. It's not over the top activity. It's not like absolutely ridiculous ghosts running around and just like knocking everything and all of the furniture around, which is just so red flag to me. It's very subtle activity. I don't know. Also hotels tend to be haunted. Like also, I've, if things are haunted, I would believe that hotels would be haunted or a lot of hotels haunted because so many people pass away there. So again, I don't know, maybe I'm being really gullible and really stupid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because if he if he set this up, I'm very impressed. I will say that. I'm never gonna say one way or another. We have no idea if something is real ghost footage ever. I can't say that, yes, this is definitely ghost footage. It very well may be set up, but if it is, it's very well done. Russian Porch Yeti. This video has also been deleted from the iceberg. The link no longer works. Um, I found a clip that I believe is the same one. It might not be, but hey, here's a Russian porch yeti for you regardless. Бля, парни, плохо видно вообще. Это слышно хорошо. Да. Ты видел это? Да, ты какая-то страшная белая ёбань. Ты видел белую хрень? So again, assuming I have the right clip, this is another one that's just not really worth analyzing that much because there's just not enough context information and the video quality is so bad. This could so easily be a guy in a costume. I did like zoom in and try to fix the settings and the exposure on a photo of the guy to see if I could get a better picture of this Yeti. It looks like a dude in a furry costume to me, but it's so blurry and so bad quality that we have no idea. So it just kind of seems pointless to even try to analyze this one. The last one on tier seven is for more subscribe. Couldn't find this one. Video's gone and um, I did start to try to look for it, but I literally, how am I supposed to find this one? Because there is so many videos that have uh, for more subscribe in the title. Like if you 
put that into YouTube, millions of videos come up. There's no way for me to know specifically which one this is. If anybody saw a video titled this that was specifically a paranormal video back in the day, again, please email it to me and I will try to remember to include it in the next video of this iceberg because pfft, no idea. Okay, let's dive into tier eight. The the first one on tier eight is Angry Ghost at the Manger Hotel. I also, not gonna lie, also really like this video. This video was recorded at the Manger Hotel in San Antonio, Texas, which is supposedly, to be fair, a very haunted hotel. This is not how I expected this video to go before I watched it, so here it is. All right, so Sarah, you good? Yeah. So you're getting a weird feeling from this area, huh? Yeah, I don't feel good. Well, I don't feel too good about it either. It's very odd. First of all, we've got ourselves a super tiny door and a sink drain with some old tile work. Looks very odd. Maybe like were like slaves, you think? Like bay? You think like they had like old? You think like this could have been like a, a little room? My shoulder hurts. Or a slop sink maybe of some kind? Kevin. Your shoulder? My shoulder stinks. You're did I rub crap. against something? You did not do it. Did you do that to yourself? I think I rubbed it against the rail. No. Yes, did you do that to yourself? No. I think no. I rubbed it against the rail. No. I was sitting right here, and when I got up, I think I rubbed it against the wall. There's no way you could have done that. That stings. Yeah, it looks like you scraped yourself or something scraped you. I... Ow. Uh, I did not scrape myself. Are you serious? I swear Let's, okay, I hit the rail. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta I go. I swear I hit the rail. There's no way you could have hit the rail in that type of, like, way. They, are, those are finger marks. Really like something scraped you. I swear to God, I hit the rail. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm gotta get out. Uh, yeah, we do seriously. I've got some goosebumps. serious goosebumps. I don't want to talk about this. Are you serious? Yes, this hurts really bad. Oh my god, this is some awesome footage. This is not fun. Wow. I swear, I've got goosebumps all over my like, head to toe right now. Must do it the There's no way you could have hit it four times. Oh. Oh, Did you it? I didn't do it. It's stings all of a sudden. Wow. All right. Well, it's a dinger. So I don't know about this one. This one, several of the comments were saying that they had very strange experiences at this hotel as well and confirmed the paranormal activity. We see a glance of her shoulder before it gets scratched and then he kind of shows us after it gets scratched. The thing that I like most about this video is A, nothing moves in the video. <laughs> um, it's a little more original. And B, I really like their reactions in this video. First of all, this guy is like excited, like legitimately excited that he got this on tape. And he was like, oh, this is the best evidence ever. And I believe it's his sister in the video. And in spite of her like rolling <laughs> her eyes at him, but I just think their reactions are pretty genuine. Most people in videos like this, when it's set up, they freak out, you know, they're like, oh my God. And they like run, run, run. Like, oh my God, let's get out of here right now. I'm so scared. And they freak out and stuff. And I feel like their reaction is a very real, normal reaction. They are freaked out, but they're not panicking. I feel like this is how most people would react in this situation. Like kind of looking at it, trying to think of other explanations for it at first, and then kind of laughing because you're just like a little confused and be like, I don't want to talk about it. That's so freaky. And kind of like, okay, let's like just get out of the area just to be safe. Like I just feel like their reaction is what a normal person's reaction would be. Again, I'm never gonna say that a video is 100% real because what the hell do I know? But this video does at least seem convincing to me in terms of, I don't think they set it up. Maybe there is an explanation for her scratch. Maybe while the camera was off of her, she scratched her own shoulder. Totally possible. But I just saying, I do uh, appreciate the reactions. If you're trying to make a viral video yourself, like take note of the more convincing reactions. The next one is pretty short. This one is called door knocking. And this one's also just really dumb in my opinion. I'll show you the clip first. It's pretty short.
Why are all the people in this video ridiculously calm? If somebody was banging on your door like that, you would immediately be panicking and calling the police and freaking out and turning off all the lights. And this guy just walking up to the door and just chilling there, the fact that nobody's even standing up or bothering to stand up or trying to look out the window to see if somebody's there. Again, like there's no way to prove either way, but it's like probably just somebody on the other side banging the door and we can't see through it. Ghost messes with sleeping girl is next. Um, comments are turned off on this one. A few of these videos, the comments are turned off, with all, which also just pet peeve really ticks me off because first of all, I love reading a bunch of the comments and getting people's believer side and then the skeptical sides and what they think it is and all that. And second of all, it just makes me feel like these people turn off the comments because they don't want the skeptics to point out the flaws in the video. This one's pretty obvious, but I'll let you watch for yourself. Here's the clip. Okay, so in my personal opinion, this one could be explained pretty easily. Notice that the camera is angled in such a way so the bottom of the frame is not, the bottom, the floor of the bedroom is not in the frame. Like it's angled upwards just enough so that somebody could be crawling on the floor doing all this stuff. I think somebody was in the closet, they closed the door, this girl's pretending to sleep. They started filming. The person in the closet opened the door to the closet. They're on their hands and knees so that they're behind the bed so you can't see them. And then they're, you know, moving the pillow. I think that somebody could also, again, be crawling on their belly on the floor and doing all the stuff in the front of the room, such as the cabinet, the thing being knocked over and stuff. Again, when we can't see the whole frame, it's impossible to say that I think that this could possibly be real. And again, it's also just weird. Like, why are they randomly filming this little girl in the middle of the night from this? Like, it's not a security camera. It's not a, it's not like a, uh, what's the word? Baby monitor. Wow. <laughs> Could not think of that word. I just, yeah, calling fake on that one. The next one is La Cia Fantasma. That translates to ghost chair. This one's also going to be pretty quick. This one, the description says that this chair was found moving on its own in the hallway of a prison. I don't think I could play the audio on this one because the music is copyrighted, but uh, it shouldn't matter for this one. You don't really need the music. Here's the clip.
again, it's just like, how do we not know that this is just somebody off camera with a string attached to the leg of the chair? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that that's probably what's happening in this video. Real ghost in Egyptian pharmacy. Warning for this one for flash slash, it's very glitchy and there is slight light flashing and stuff. Like if you have epilepsy or something like this, this one could be triggering for you. So you might wanna skip it if you have some sort of medical condition, just FYI. This is supposed CCTV footage in a pharmacy. So here you go. So, wow, that's a very good audio on CCTV security footage, isn't it? I know security footages can have audio. I'm not saying they can't. It's just amazing that they got even the sound of the monitors glitching and the static on the monitors perfectly picked up on the audio. That is some really good CCTV. It's also all glitchy and all green. I don't know. And then the spill, is that supposed to be a spill of some liquid or is that supposed to be blood? Either way, it looks animated. Pretty sure that this is somebody who is working on their video editing skills and they edited this video as part of something to put in their portfolio. And then that growl makes it just very, very unbelievable. I don't know if they were even trying to make this believable though, because... It's just very obviously edited. This would be a cool video to put in a haunted house or a, I mean, like a haunted attraction, you know, like a haunted house maze or something like that, though. I think this would freak a lot of people out, but yeah, very cool. Scariest ghost ever is next. I'm going to give you a little context before we watch this one because it's pretty confusing without context. So this is a video of a guy who claims that he heard footsteps in his house. So that's why he pulled the camera out and started Started recording. Fair enough. The big climax of this video is pay attention to right when he's filming down the stairs. And then we are again, just a warning jump scare warning. There is going to be a more of an audio jump scare because then the ghost or entity or whatever is going to suddenly run up the stairs and there's going to be very loud, sudden footsteps. And then they slam the bathroom door. And then he goes into the bathroom to investigate to see, of course, that nothing's there. So now that you've been thoroughly warned, and here is the clip. Okay, it's, um, it's like the middle of the day. I'm the only person in the house and uh, just heard some uh, footsteps going up and down the stairs. I've checked all the rooms. There is, uh, there is nobody in. It's been doing it for about 10 minutes. There it is again. Okay.
the shit out of me. I would say this is pretty legit looking. A lot of people in the comments are actually scared. But then of course I went to this guy's channel and watched some other videos and this entire channel is dedicated to again, paranormal footage. And that almost always ruins it for me. A lot of his videos show him in his house and all the paranormal footage in his house. In this particular video, he explains that he actually moved to the university and like basically this thing is following him. He was trying out different lighting filters with his friends when they got this on camera. So here's that clip. Obviously it's a bit extreme, probably white balance to the color, but you get what I mean. Right. Next one I'll try is the uh, fluorescent filter. It's essentially green, it uh, reduces the effect or matches the effect of the fluorescent light. Yeah, and uh, that's what that looks like. So like how convenient is it that they set up the camera in such a way that the refrigerator door was perfectly in frame in the background and then they just so happened to experience this and get this moment on film. Like I just think he was trying a little too hard to make the setup believable. <laughs> if that makes sense. A for effort, but I just, again, like with all the videos on the channel of conveniently catching all this very, very crazy ghost footage. Yeah. Okay, shape-shifting plasma UFO. This one is very different from others that we've watched yet again. This is allegedly a video taken by a passenger while they were like 10 to 30,000 feet on a commercial plane and they took a video of this strange shape-shifting thing. So this has, to be fair, officially been ruled a UFO. That does not mean it's an alien or an alien spacecraft or alien related. It just means that it is some sort of unidentified flying object. It did also make it into several small news articles since the original video went pretty viral. I will admit, I don't know what this is. Many have suggested, and I tend to believe the explanation, that this is some sort of light reflecting on the airplane window. Like there's an object in the airplane, such as a shiny piece of jewelry or something, and then the sun is out at a perfect angle, and it is reflecting the light of the sun through the window, and then they're filming outside, but it's like a reflection of fractured light. And so it's moving. Does that make sense? It is very difficult to tell though, because the camera is moving so much. I do think this is not plasma alien goo or whatever they are claiming that this is, but I will admit that we don't have a definitive answer on this one. It could be, but it's probably not a drone performing some kind of tricks because uh, in most countries, it's illegal to fly drones over 400 feet. They can go as high as airplanes, but you're not definitely not supposed to because it's very dangerous and you could get in big trouble for doing it. So it's just probably not a drone. I guess it's technically possible. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. This one's weird. Like I do think there's a reasonable explanation for this one, but I don't know what it is, if that makes sense. Strange activity on home security. This one is so silly. Let's just watch it. That's a bug. That is a bug on the lens walking around. If it's not a bug, it is somebody with a flashlight out of frame and you can't see the actual flashlight, but they're slowly moving the light of the flashlight in the frame of the security camera. That one is, yeah, that one's very silly. That one's not paranormal. Okay, the last one is UFO Abroad. 
I also could not find this video. I'm assuming it's some sort of student that went abroad and saw UFO footage, but I have no idea. And again, it was one of those that I tried to find on my own, but putting just UFO abroad, so much stuff comes up. So I cannot find the actual video that this is referring to. So yet again, if that video or any of the other videos that you guys heard on this list that didn't have a link, if you know what the video is, please feel free to send it to me via email so I can include it and fill in the gaps in the next part of the video. So, okay, that's it. That was tier five, six, seven, and eight. We got through so much of this iceberg today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. These videos are wild. I know that we debunk most of them or like I think most of them are fake, but I find that really fun anyway because I think that this is a journey, right? This is a journey to find some of the videos that are really convincing. And there were a couple of those videos in here. And I've also come across some other videos in not just this iceberg, but on the TikTok videos that I do that are some very strange videos. And the only way to find those videos that could be more convincing is to look through hundreds of paranormal videos, you know? So yeah, thank you so much for taking this journey with me. This was super fun. And don't forget to like the video to help the channel. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much to all of our patrons on the screen right now. Top tiers are Colin Holmes, The Deck of Cards, Michelle Valdovinos, Little Kittle Cat, Mitchell Schaefer Meyer, Momo Neon, Marita144, Elderly Hipster, Rebecca Jackson, Quinamon, Cobblecon Anime and Gaming Convention, Sarah the Crazy Fish Lady, Maxi, Ellison Luna, Tiny Mighty Bookworm, A Bunny Apparently, Leon Vanek, I Am In Your Walls, Habromania, Cyberdog Investigations LLC, Vicky Cat, Amy B, Tick Urch, Dead Without the E, Chara, MH Dave, Ami, Lindsay R, It's Tara, obviously, Shayna R, El Magnificoco, Laura Winter, Lilith, Dana, Ashes, Gosh Zilla, Geo, Arya Anomaly, Ghosty Girl, Mel Miller, Jessica Cook, Mark Fagundes, and Mike.